Hello dear, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about how you can create ring with dynamic paint and particles in Blender. Let's get started. Let's delete the default cube. X to delete. Then let's create a background for our work. Go to add. Click on plain, then scale it by using Ctrl X or use the tools panel. Then go to front view, then rotate it by clicking on R X 90. Okay. Then go to Z view by pressing 3 on your numpad. Move it to the back. G, Y. Move it to the back. G, Z up. Okay. Then go to perspective view. We have created the background. Scale it again a bit. Okay, that's for our background. Let's add material to it. I mean color to it. Add color, this color. Then we go to let's apply red right there. Change the to material mode then let's darken the color by using this icon here you can use it to dark it or light it okay that's our background then let's add another plane scale this Okay. Scale it a bit. Then let's add subdivision to it. Go to edit mode. Press right click on it. Subdivide twice right click subdivide and now see we have added some faces to it let's go to object mode again then select the cube go to our physics panel let me bring this up a bit I will go to the physics panel, this particle property, this is the physics property, click on it, then select dynamic paint, then we make sure that the type is on canvas, you know what, we have canvas, we have brush, make sure it is on canvas, okay, then we will go to the setting, This is the setting then, we will click this box to review other settings. Now we will go to the service, the service and change it to wave. Change the service type to wave. Okay, I have changed it to wave now. Now we will go back to the 3D viewport and create second plane that will serve as the source of the rain click on plane then move it up by pressing G Z move it up okay 
Skydit. It will be the source of the rain. Okay. I have scaled it now. Okay. Select it. And go to dynamic paint. Go to dynamic paint. Under physics. Dynamic paint. And this time we will select brush instead of canvas that is there. Select brush. Okay. I have selected the brush then I've selected the brush we are now going to create particle we go to particle property create particle by adding by clicking on this add button then we are going to render click on render then under the render we will go to the we are going to select render as object select object ok we have choose object now we are going to add another object to the 3d viewport go to add add another object let's add icosphere okay we have added it now we are going to move it away from the center by pressing g on the keyboard okay then scale it down a bit and we are going to add the scale by pressing ctrl a on the keyboard ctrl a and click on scale to add scale to it okay now we are going to select the upper plane select the upper plane and apply go to tab select the icon with picker we are going to the object the render as object that we created before render as object we are going to object now click on this speaker to pick this icon as object it has shown in the box huh? then we are going back to the physics property this physics property click on it then go under the dynamic page we are in dynamic paint so we will click on this setting to review some more settings then we are going to the source the source go to the source then change the paint to particle system click on particle system so we have choose particle system then we are going to select the particle system here click on this box to select the particle system now we are done let's play our animation let's play our rain animation by clicking on the play animation now you can see we have create rain effect with particles in blender that's how to create it let me adjust the frame to 100 100 frame okay let's play it again you can see now it's raining that's how to create rain in fact in blender i hope with this video you will be able to create your own rainy effect in blender thank you very much like and subscribe to my channel for more 
Educated Video.